Chapter 1 The New School The sight of all the kids chatting with friends, but all I'm doing is looking like a statue alone. This is the first day of middle school, and I already know it's not going to go so well. The bell rang, then on the speaker, the principal made an announcement. Hello, students. Welcome to 8th grade. Get to class. First period starting. I just stood there and saw a girl that looked so beautiful with blonde hair and blue eyes came up to me. Hi, she said with a smile. Uh, uh. Uh, hi, I said, stuttering. Don't be shy. I'm Rachel, she said, and hold it out her a hand for me to shake. What's your name? She asked. I'm Kevin Green, I said, nervously while shaking her hand. Well, we have to get to class. I'll see you at lunch, she said, and started walking to class. I started walking to my class thinking, how can she like me as a friend? I'm not that strong. Why did she choose me? I had no more time to keep thinking that. I reached my first period of math. I walked into class, seeing all seats taken except one. I looked who's next to me and behind. This guy looked at me with an evil grin. I sat down and started thinking about Rachel. Who? So beautiful. I can't believe she was talking to me. My thoughts ended to the teacher calling my name. Hello, Kevin. What is 1.9128 1. plus 919.2 point? I looked at her for a while, finally saying... 1836.9. She said, Craig, good job. Now we got more homework for all of you. Everyone let out a big groan. The bell rings rang for next period. I grabbed my things, I grabbed my homework and placed it into my bag. I was about to leave. Joe came to me and said, Hey nerd, do my homework at lunch. I looked at him for a while and then said, No. I ran and finally found Rachel at her table. Hi Kevin, she said with a big smile that her teeth showed. I smiled back. Well, Joe'd want me to do his homework i said i said no then i ran here to find you i said panting he's a bully be careful with him he's tricky and mean she said with a worried look on her face she finally said sit down with us and put on that beautiful smile of hers i sat down and i took out my lunch bag and started eating my sandwich joe stone he gives me a glance when he walks by me and i heard him whisper watch your back then he went with his buds at his table i looked at rachel and we had the same worried look on our face it was time to go home. School had ended the first day of school. Rachel gave me her number and she told me we can video chat on Skype to study for English class. I got home, went to my room, and placed my backpack down. I went to the mirror and looked at myself. I let a big sign. <sighs> I thought, look at me. Brown hair, noodle arms, and freckles. I kept wondering how Rachel like, likes me as a friend or like me as a friend. Or maybe even more than a friend? Then I heard someone calling me on Skype. It was Rachel. I picked up and we studied and started talking for a while. When it was time for her to have filmy dinner, we said our goodbyes and we hung up. I looked at my clock. It read 3.65. I heard someone come through the front door. My mom screamed, Kevin, I'm home. Come down, honey. I went down the stairs. My mom asked, how was school? Made any friends? I told her my day was fine and I made a friend. Her name was Rachel. She said she had a very glad face on and said great honey i'm glad your day went well and she squished my cheeks well i need to get dinner ready i'll call you when dinner was down okay mom i went up my i went up my stairs and back to my room i laid on the bed looking at the ceiling i was so glad to have reach as a friend i kept thinking about rachel it felt like minutes went by but it's been hours my mom called me down for dinner we had we were having steak mashed potatoes and broccoli i sat down and started eating the table was quiet for a few minutes. Then my mom broke the silence. She asked me if I was okay. I told her I was fine, and I let out a big smile. I finally realized I finished my food. I got up and washed my dishes. When I was finished, I went back to my room. I read a little of this book called Shiver, where it's about two people. One is a wolf, and other is a normal girl. It's like Twilight, but mixed up. I yawned and started to get sleepy. I turned off my book light, and I fell asleep thinking about Rachel.